Um, we're hosting, in the name of justice, is holding a community meeting Monday at the Grandview Heights Library. Anybody's welcome there. We're going to have some people probably running for office that would be there that also support us. Um, as you're aware, we have some really major problems in our system lately. I'm glad you brought up about the drug system. That's very common. We just got a letter, Amy got a letter from somebody that was at North Central where they're sitting on the bunk smoking weed. And doing some boxing. Right. And that, and we know that the majority of it's coming in from staff. If, if they would search the staff, they would stop some of it. Lake Erie, people are throwing um, drugs over the fences at Lake Erie Correctional. Um, Marion is probably the, the least problems out of any of the institutions. I think it's because of how it's run. It's more or less the faith-based institution in Ohio. But we also need to uh, get help with the probe. But I think the biggest help we had was when former Senator Shirley Smith got appointed. I was kind of really surprised they put her on there. But that might be in favor of us, and maybe in the future you could sit there with her. So, <laughs> you know, then we will get more people that deserve a chance out. Um, about two months ago, me and Amy met with uh, Director Moore and the staff there, and Cynthia Myers made a statement, and when it's life, it's life. And that's, and I went around and talked to judges, that's not what they intended. No. They intended them to be out after 15 years or 25 years of his life. They said if after 15 if their prison conduct report was on point that that's what they meant 15 years not to be resentenced right. over and over and over and then the parole board said well, let, me, let me just stop you right there amy okay a lot of people don't know what you all are talking about there Sorry. are two systems right now those um, that were sentenced before 1996 1996 1996 they're under one set of laws those after 1996, that's when we got truth in sentencing, they're under another set of laws. In other words, if the judge after 1996 said you're going to do 15 years, you're going to do 15 years. There's no if, ands, or buts. Before that, the law was the judge gave a sentence, um, maybe 15 years to life, but it wasn't a mandatory 15 years to life. Most cases they did the 15 years, but after the 15 years they go to the parole board and if they had a clean record, they would be determined whether or not they would get out then or they would say, come back to the parole board in two years, we'll review your case then and then we'll determine whether you get out. That's those before 1996. So you have a parole board that makes the determination whether they get out when they go before the parole board. All across the country, that's what's happening. There's a small group of inmates that are still there. Because remember, the overwhelming majority of people who are in our correctional system have 18 months or less to serve. The overwhelming majority. So there are very few people that have ever been given a life sentence, but those that have, before 1996, they're the only ones under the parole system because since 1996, whatever the sentence is, the sentence is. And so there's no need for a parole board. Well, think about it. These positions pay around $89,000, I think. Cynthia Miles makes $47,83 uh, an, an hour. hour. Yeah, well, I got it down to a T. $25 an hour is $50,000. So they make a lot of money. And there's only in Ohio, I don't know how many. 11. 11,000? No, no, no. 11. How, many, how many are under oh, the old system? 4,000. So there's only 4,000 inmates out of almost 60,000 that come under the old system, that need a parole board, and there's 11 of them, a lot of money. They're still going to need the parole board even for the new law, for those that were given life sentences. Um, but they were talking about after all the old law gets down, they would limit the parole board to like six members because they have 11 now. Well, they'll retire. But, the, the, yeah. but then they keep appointing new ones, I mean, right. because they, they come up they're for appointment, and, and there are term limits now. Right for parole board members. That I didn't know. Yeah, there, okay. there used to be no term limits. Um, so anyway, that's the issue. You know, what's where's the fairness and equity? 
Right. If you're under the old law that says you have the possibility of parole, why is it that we're not giving parole? And so what they're doing all across the country is just keep making them come back, giving them false hope, and not releasing any of those inmates who had sentences of life or less. And you could have missed it by one day. I mean, you know, one day you could yeah. have missed that. And the families are, you know, it's god awful. The families calling us, it's heartbreaking. And it's wrong and it's ungodly. So your event is Monday at what time? At uh, 6 o'clock at the Grand View Heights Library. We got the connections from one of your meetings there. You had your Good. breakfast. Good. So. Well, the Grand View Heights Library at 6 o'clock on Monday, if you're interested or if you know people who may be interested in this issue. The other, the other reason, and, and I'm glad that you brought up the Grandview Heights Library, we, we move our community leadership breakfasts around to different community locations and assets. So we're exposing our area commission, civic association, pastors, other leaders in the community about other facilities.